Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The main tool available for you to use in OneNote is the ribbon. This object allows you to perform all of the commands available within the program. The ribbon is divided into tabs, and within these tabs are different groups of commands. The commands in each group can be accessed either through the use of buttons, boxes, or menus that are available within each group. As we have mentioned, OneNote is different from other Office applications in that the ribbon is collapsed by default. If it is collapsed, you can display the ribbon by simply clicking on the name of one of the tabs. To collapse the ribbon, just click on the name of the Active tab. Once collapsed, you can expand it again by clicking any tab. You should also notice that when you click on a tab name to display the ribbon, it hides the notebook header and other options. If you want to display the ribbon without obscuring the other features, you can double-click on a tab within the ribbon to both hide and show the contents of the ribbon. Once the ribbon is displayed, you can simply click on the main tab shown in the ribbon to display the groups. The default tabs shown in the ribbon are File, Home, Insert, Draw, History, Review, and View. The Home tab includes buttons that allow you to format notebook content, insert and locate content tags, which we will discuss later, and even coordinate notebook content with Microsoft Outlook. The Insert tab includes commands that allow you to insert, link to, and attach images, files, audiovisual files, timestamps, and special symbols. The Draw tab contains commands to insert and manipulate handwritten content. On the History tab, you'll find commands to assist you in sharing a notebook and managing multi-user notebooks. The Review tab contains the commands for working with text stored on notebook pages. Here you can check spelling, research word choices, and even translate content to a different language. Finally, the View tab displays the commands to change the appearance of the OneNote window and notebook pages, change the magnification of notebook content, and work with multiple program windows. In addition to the primary tabs available for you to use, you will also see special contextual tabs that will appear within the ribbon when you have a particular type of object selected or inserted into your notebook. For example, you will see the Layout tab of the Table Tools contextual tab appear when you have a table selected within your notebook page. The groups of buttons that then appear on this contextual tab will be directly related to the type of object that is selected. You can make the contextual tabs disappear by simply clicking away from the selected object within the content window. Although the ribbon is collapsed by default, you can change its display behavior to meet your needs. At the far right end of the title bar, you can click or tap the Ribbon Display Options button to reveal a drop-down of display options. You can choose to set the ribbon to Auto Hide, which collapses the ribbon until you click at the very top of the application window to open it. When you click outside of the ribbon, it will hide again. You can also select to display the tabs only by choosing the Show Tabs until the tabs are clicked to show their contents. This is the same as the default setting but you can also choose to set the ribbon to show both the tabs and the commands, which will display the entire ribbon in the program interface until you hide it by double-clicking on a tab name or by changing the display options within the Ribbon Display Options button again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.